And now to the promising news in this nearly year long pandemic. New York State just hit a record low in its COVID-19 positivity rate, the lowest in three months. Additionally, the Johnson & Johnson single dose vaccine could be approved as soon as this Friday. CBS 2's Jessica Layton joins us from J&J headquarters in New Brunswick, New Jersey. Jessica. So we'll have Johnson & Johnson, Pfizer and Moderna, guys, a triple threat against this virus. And once J&J &J is approved, millions of its doses could be going out within just a few days. If Johnson & Johnson's vaccine gets the go-ahead as expected Friday, three to four million doses could ship out next week. And nothing could be more welcome than more vaccine. An FDA review of J&J's single dose shot found it to be safe and 85% effective against severe illness, 100% effective against COVID-19 deaths, but overall effectiveness drops to 66%. Moderna and Pfizer's vaccine offered 94 and 95% protection overall. Dr. Robert Amler of New York Medical College is a former CDC epidemiologist. What do these numbers what do these percentages really mean? These are practically the same. Get the vaccine. Don't fuss over what brand it is. Two federally run mega vaccination sites opened in Queens and Brooklyn Wednesday, getting added protection to those living in underserved minority communities. Very emotional. We don't know what was going to happen to us in 2021. I feel like a huge sense of relief. In New Jersey, Alyssa Teigman is thrilled to be fully vaccinated, but she did have a small scare during a mammogram two weeks after her first dose. They had mentioned that I had enlarged lymph nodes, but the doctors were very reassuring. The COVID vaccine, like others, can cause an immune response like swollen lymph nodes, but enlarged lymph nodes can also be a sign of breast cancer. Dr. Rebecca Gams of Hackensack University Medical Center says it's best to have your mammogram before your vaccine, if you can. If that's not possible, then it's okay to wait four to six weeks after the second vaccine before you have your mammogram. But if you're way overdue for your mammogram or if you have a problem, you have a lump or pain, then you really should not be delaying your mammogram at all. Other big news today from Moderna. That company saying it's now testing a booster that it believes will be effective against new variants. Reporting live from New Brunswick, New Jersey tonight, Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News. Okay, Jessica, thank you.